everyone. Welcome to uh, Best Bets in Comedy for this week. Um, my name is Aaron Kiter, and I'm here with... Amy Conway. Hey, Amy. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm here, and I'm moving, and my brain's starting to work, so I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. We're, we're, we're working up to it, right? Mm-hmm. Working up to a day. Oh, yes. I've Days been, are getting longer. I have a uh, child immunity immunizations after oh, my how kids fun. Are shot, so. do your kids react well to immunizations no, no 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 but we've worked out a system of full distraction okay and less screaming so it's okay good. can you sneak up behind them are, are there ethics around that that you have to navigate there are some ethics around that i think but and they also just can't move so you kind of mm. they need to know what's happening but um but you can't just put spongebob in front of them and they sneak up and it takes like full like intense comic books okay to distract them All so right. they're enwrapped in a story and they're gone from the world there should be a comic book that's like spider-man knows what's best uh and it's not typhoid fever or i don't know what would <laughs> some sort of pro immunization <laughs> they get it they get the concept they're like we don't want other people to get diseases oh. but they're just terrified of the needle part okay well I uh, I wish you all the best. That sounds thank you difficult. Immunized immune immunization immunizations yes vaccines vaccines are good. Yeah, very well. That's my message this morning. Sure, not everybody agrees. Yeah. <laughs> well, today we have a, a guest on the show. Um, we have a. Um, I don't, he, I don't know if he refers to himself as a god or a demigod or just an eternal... I've uh, been called many things. Oh, hi. Hey, you just trying to... Hey, Clef. How, this is Hello. Clef. Yes. Some have called me one of the ancient ones. Some have called me a god. For Some you. have called me Roger Ebert. Roger. But I go by Clef. 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 For an ancient one, man, you are stylish. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look really good. Mm-hmm. Thank you, yes. Yeah. I I wear lots of capes. Capes mm. have always been in fashion. It's a nice, uh, easy go-to. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, when you're, when you're alive for eternity, you pick things that are truly timeless. And you, f- you see styles come and go. And... Some things remain. Oh, well, well, you are you are nailing it. Yeah, yeah, oh, you're really you. you're really killing. I, f- I feel like you're you're like a step ahead in fashion right now. Like the, I like what you did with the uh, the, the the diamonds in your hair and yes, <laughs> yes, ornamental. Uh, it it impresses the humans. So mm. yeah. makes, yes, I I spend a lot of time at nightclubs. Really, and they really appreciate it. Wow, nightclubs. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes, I've been, I've been watching you all. I've been watching for some time now. I imagine you've been watching for quite a long time. Yes, for all of eternity. You've been there since the beginning. Yes. The beginning of humans. Yes, the beginning of all beings. And I tell you, it's very exciting. I cannot wait to see how it all ends. What? Well, oh, mm. it, how it all ends? Yes, this is the final season. I mean... We've all been on pins and needles to see how it all turns out. We, we had the final season. You mean like until like the sun loses energy and collapses, and like like it's just so many millennia from now, right? Oh no, we are in the throes of the final final episodes. It's very exciting. I I, I can liken it to your uh ah uh, television Game of Thrones. Oh well, that's yeah. that's going to be a real kind of bummer of, well actually i don't know i gave it, it that that ended okay right oh i don't watch television oh. but i know of it i know it i i'm more interested in the long game here so uh, l- l- the first season of existence was really really fun it was really interesting can, I mean, can you give it, us the highlights well okay so the there was a single cell organism mm-hmm and it emerged. So you wait. So you, as an eternal being, existed before. You were like on a different plane or level. So you were watching. Yeah, I was just walking around. Oh, okay. Just walking just around. around the cosmos. Yeah, I yeah, I just kind of walk around, and 
yeah, I saw this single cell organism uh, crawling out of the the goo, the uh, the uh, the water. And you were just stuck. You just started. I was just like, humanity. ooh, this is good. Okay. This is good writing. I mean, I not really writing. writing. Well, you know, the genetic code is kind of like the. Sc- Oh, okay. It's like yeah. into a script of sorts. I guess I, so. I was worried that you meant like like everything was predetermined, like that oh, kind of writing. Mm. In a way, uh, it's hard to explain to humans, but once you see the fabric of the universe, you see that I'm not even I don't know who wrote it, but I can't you know I just can't wait to see what they do next. But, but that that's kind of for the rest of us down here on Earth. That's a it's a real it's a bummer. bummer. Yeah. yeah. I, Oh, oh! I mean, it's just so dramatic, the things that are happening. I mean, we all thought things were going to work out really great, but then humans started destroying everything, and we were like, okay, okay you have an Earth, it's a bean, it's providing everything, and you guys are totally turning on it? We did not expect that. <laughs> we did not see that coming. I mean, how how many of you are the we like? Like, what is the? What's your viewership? Your, yeah. your weekly viewership. Like, oh, what are the ratings? I mean, I'm actually mini beans all in one. Oh, so, oh, of yeah, course. Yeah. Sorry, uh, it's not. It's always hard to explain to the to the humans, so I just I don't. <laughs> but uh, yes, I am actually composed of about fourteen beans. <laughs> and you're you're. Eternal and like immortal. Yes, immortal. And is there nothing you can do to like help us? Yeah. Oh no, I'm just I just hang out mostly. So you're just kind of hanging out yeah. around the humans, watching I have, them. I have no real power. Okay. I just kind of like oh. I just kind of hang out. You know, I just love to veg. I just love to veg and and binge. I've just been binging Earth for so long now. I kind of forgot what I was doing before. And there's... You're powerless. There's nothing you can do... I mean, you're 14 immortal, eternal beings, and there's nothing you can do to... I don't know, get us... Like, to get us uh, another season, so to speak. I mean, I could, like, campaign to, like, you know, change the ending and stuff, but it's like... That's give. I gotta let creative control stay with, you know, the show. I don't want to. I don't. I feel like if I, it's. I don't want to be fan service. I don't want Earth to remain and for y'all to have a utopia. Just because that's what I want. I mean, that's going against the artistic integrity. No, I get it. When when like the show is lived it's it's gone through its course it's lived through its course then yes. you, you gotta kind of let it a lot of ups and downs i mean i my favorite part was when you were just little mammals in the ice age wandering around that was really fun okay but i gotta say i feel like there's a philosophical question here about a, an eternal godlike being who has all of or has a lot of power has some power to change things but does nothing um, I gotta question your 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 benevolence, I suppose. Ooh, that sounds like a good think piece. You should write that for Vulture or something. <laughs> I mean, I love reading the, I love reading all the books that are the uh, um, what, what's it called when it just sums up what's been what the last few episodes have been. Yeah, history books. <laughs> <laughs> and. And those are really great, and there's a lot of great think pieces out there too. And I sense a note of sarcasm. Are you are you mocking me? Because I no, I, <laughs> okay. no, I love a think piece. Okay, so especially when it's about entertainment. <laughs> so there's there's nothing you can do to help us. You, I mean, you're you're here talking to us right now. Like, what about one of the other beings? Like, I'm I'm curious. Like, do they come out, or is it all channeled through Clef? Oh no, it's. We all just kind of all together. I don't, but you know what? I, I will support you guys. I'll rewatch. I'm mm. gonna do a big rewatch once it's all over. Oh, interesting. So time is like uh, it's like a a, a a circle, I guess. That the things just sort of oh yes come back around. Yes, everything comes. Everything I've seen. This is probably my third. Oh no! Well, I was watching Mars last ta- last time around, and that was good. Was it? Oh yes, 
Are there... What happens on Mars? Just lots of dust storms, mostly. <laughs> well, Clay... I'll be re-watching, so don't worry, guys. I'll see you next time around. It's all going to be exactly the same. Clef, I gotta say, do, when you're watching us, do you ever catch any um, comedy shows that we're, we put on here on Earth? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch those sometimes. I do love a good joke. It, uh, it's, it's good to just break up the drama. Mm. You know, some comic relief. Well, here in Portland... We got a few things to break up the uh, the drama, as you call it. We call it our daily lives. But um, it, I'm just going to plug a few. Uh, coming up this Thursday, June 20th at 7.30 at Kickstand, we have Mondo. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you know about Mondo, Amy? Ooh, um, I know that there's a cool, cool band. Yep. Who- Green Hills Alone. Green Hills Alone, mm-hmm. who will come in and they'll play music, and then the comedy improvisers. Do you do you like improv, Cliff? Uh, in a way, once you kind of start reading genetic makeups, it, it gets a little predictable. But <laughs> even improv becomes predi- predi- uh, yeah, that's probably just, true. <laughs> but you know, I'm surprised every once in a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's seven thirty at Kickstand. Um, it's pretty cool. Like it's you, you get to see. Our genetic code, as you call it, kind of mix up with some musical stylings and um, turn into funny little scenes that break up the uh, the pains of living on this planet. Great. I'll be watching. <laughs> Unless there's a volcano somewhere going off or, uh, I don't know, like a herd of deer. <laughs> Cliff, do you, do you have the, the capability of bringing like a human up to view with you? Oh, I just walk around. Oh, okay. I, I thought... I'm not. I'm not on a platform or anything. Oh, okay. I just kind of watch from this level. From within. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if you're still sticking around, <laughs> you can catch Secret Aardvark after that. After the Mondo Thursday, um, and that is uh, that's another fun little Portland collection of improvisers with fun hosts. Oh, great! Maybe you could maybe you could host it one day. And, oh, maybe that'd be fun. And. I Maybe would, just give us a warning or a heads up. What's that, Amy? Oh, I say I would, I would, I would love to learn more from you, like about what you've experienced. So, I'd love oh, it. yeah, I've got a lot of opinions. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of opinions. There's um, there's another show. There's a few more shows happening in town, but uh, tomorrow night in Milwaukee at the Chapel Theater, the Bridge City Improv is bringing their uh, show Brousseau and Knockouts, and it's um, it's a good time. And, and it's a great theater, actually. I've yeah, been down yeah. there a couple times. It's really cool. Milwaukee. <laughs> Milwaukee, <laughs> yeah. If you can step outside the uh, the comfort of the Portland metropolitan area, we got some good good shows happening out there, too. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, you got any final thoughts, Amy? Oh, man. can I mean, if you could get us, like, a tiny extension at oh. all, Cliff. Can you bring us back on, like, another network? Oh, or yeah. so to speak. Oh, that's an interesting point. <laughs> I mean, there are some other universes that <laughs> we could probably... Z- Ooh, yeah, a reboot. I mean, it's, it's never as good as the original universe, no. but... It's, but if you can keep watching the original while also, like, yeah, shuttling yeah. us into a new dimension. I mean, yeah, but it's never as good as the original. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like... I feel like I'd be interested for a little bit, and then... It'd probably get canceled. And well, if there's there's new media, oh, I, I, I'm trying to think of the parallels to, the, to our our existence. Yes, your human brains well, is, can really. Is there a Netflix it. of universes that can pick us up for a season four? Uh, I'll look into it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of wandering around the universe after this ends. So, God, what am I going to do with myself? I just don't know. I d- help us out. We have to live for a little bit. I might check out... I don't know. Jupiter's got something interesting stuff. Do you ever go outside this galaxy? There's got to be stuff happening out. You know, surprisingly, there's not a lot going on. <laughs> this is kind of it. it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. the only place in the solar system. Which is, I'm surprised that you stuck it out with Mars for so long. Oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Just I mean, red rocks. Yeah, but the way they the way they move over centuries is pretty interesting. Drama. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, anyways, I think that's all we got for now. Um. So, 
Oh, great. I Hopefully, I hope to see you for a while, both of you. Yeah. And, yes. um... Can't wait to see how it all ends, guys. Okay, very good. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Thank you.